An accumulation of factors affect your assembly performance. This video discusses how mates and relations play a role. Onshape provides mates ranging in complexity from standard mates to mechanical mates. Each mate type defines the degrees of freedom between designated mate connectors. As the mate type becomes more complex, the solve time for that mate increases. The cumulative mate solve time for an assembly should take less than a second. If it takes longer to solve, reapproach how the assembly is defined. Limit an instance's definition to one mate when possible. For example, use one fasten mate instead of three planner mates to define an instance's position and degrees of freedom. Similarly, reduce the use of mate limits as they can cause longer assembly solve times. For best performance, create rigid assemblies. Rigid assemblies are assemblies with no degrees of freedom left. Onshape treats a rigid assembly as a part or group, removing the need for calculating mates. Investigate an assembly to see where there are items with degrees of freedom left. If a subassembly is not rigid, it maintains the standard assembly icon. Once it contains no degrees of freedom, the icon is replaced with the rigid icon. Parts and subassemblies with degrees of freedom are indicated by a triad. To rapidly turn an assembly or portions of an assembly rigid, utilize group. Group is a fast way to lock the spatial relationship between parts. It records all of the positions of the parts with respect to each other, but does not solve for degrees of freedom as a mate would. Group is best used for parts within the same part studio where they share the same origin. 